Okay, so when I was pulling off the sticky tag, uh, I ran into some problems and accidentally lost the mask. So instead of going through the process of remasking and everything, I'm instead just going to show a different way of masking. For this, use a just good old fashioned scotch tape. Now you're going to pull off a decent sized chunk and starting. You're going to want to find a good edge to use and then starting at a corner, just lay it down and then using something that has a good edge to it, you're going to just run it along and just flatten it out completely along all the edges. You want to make sure you have a good seal. And what's nice about it is you can tell where it's still holding up since it's clear. And so it'll be, as you can see here, like a bubble. Again, just gonna wanna do a count. Now, if it gets to be a little awkward to handle, you can trim off a lot of the excess right off the bat to save you a little pain and make it easier a little easier to work with. What's also nice about it is, since scotch tape is very cheap, now it is a little hard to get up later, but it is, again, it's cheap. Never hurt you down the cheap factor, and in a lot of ways it's still just as effective. Again, once you get it down and into all the little crevices and everything, and after you trim it, you can. So, again, using a new X Acto blade, you're just going to score around the edges, doing much the same as you did before. Now, this Technique's good for um, pieces such as this one that are more or less square and not worried about too many curves or anything. Okay. Got that. And then it's just a matter of peeling it off. And there. That's fully masks. So that's an alternative to liquid masking. Now I know some people use this technique using the Tamiya um, masking tape. Um, but they, except the difference being that they use a pencil to sort of get it in and also show where it is. But uh, I honestly haven't um, much cared for those. Now another really really great product if you want to spend the money and or um, it comes with a kit um, is the um, Edward um, self-adhesive masks those are really good I've only used them once and yeah they're just they're really really good and so, yeah, if you get the chance to either buy or um, get them, it comes with a kit, such as, I know, Edward's uh, ProFit packs come with all the aftermarket goodies that they make, including the masks. Get it. It's worth the money. It will save you a lot of time and hassle. So, yeah, I'll come back right after I paint the canopy frame. Okay, so we now have the frame painted, and you can see, um, mask done its job. Um, we're not going to pull it off until we're finally finished painting the tire kit. Next step is to um, mask off the landing gear bays. Now, there are a couple different ways to do that. Um, you can either use uh, tissue paper and mask it down. But method I like to use 
is sticky tag. Now, in general, um, most ideal is, and that's this is even more so in cases of um, where you have a complex camouflage plan. You, if you can, um, try to sticky tack the um, landing gear doors on. This way, you can ensure um, proper alignment of the camouflage later on. And also, in some cases, um, you also have to worry about decal alignment. <laughs> now, much like we did with the um, inlets, we're just going to stick it in, spread it out, add a little more. We're the place that needs it. Now, the key thing here is since is the just make sure you get everything in but at the same time make sure you're not covering up any of the side details alright uh, that just about looks good and next step from here is priming so I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing the uh, the other gear bay is off camera and double check with the camera flash pair and as I'm want to make sure I don't need to put the gear bay doors on um, so as for the, uh, the alignment issues of painting but yeah uh, yeah the next step is priming so uh, as I said I'll finish masking off uh, and I'll come back and we'll see the primed result.